Very similar to the 827, it's got these little notches that fit into the slots on the hub of the tape. We're going to put that over the top and then lock it. I'm holding on to one of the flanges and turn that a quarter turn until it locks into place. I take the edge of the tape, I wind it around, I come straight across, and I wind it around the other way. I bring it around, keep a little bit of tension on it. I have the edge of the tape, just like the 827, under my thumb. I'm going to roll it around, keep some tension on it. I'm going to go ahead and let the tape come over my thumb until it overlaps it and then pull it out. Keep a little tension on it until I get it around. Now it's ready. This is my clean supply. In the case of an Audio One student, this would be my class compilation reel. The beginning of it is at the front, so I need to rewind in this case, all the way. You're not going to need this on the A80. This little device pulls the tape away from the heads, or this device which pulls the tape away from the heads. Some other things about the A80 is you do have the ability to listen. This is just a powered speaker. Nothing that it does affects anything that happens on the meter bridge or on the tape deck. It is just simply a terrible sounding powered speaker. But you might, you know, give you some ideas of what your mix is going to sound like through a laptop. Each channel of the A80 and the B67 are independent of each other. So for example, if I want to listen to the repro head, I have to press the repro on the on each channel. If I want to hear input, I have to press input on each channel. If I want to put the machine in ready mode, I have to push ready on each channel. We're just about to the top. I'm going to go ahead and let it wind off. It's okay that it does that. It's designed to do that. I'm going to wind this on. same fashion I did before, just in reverse. Keep a little tension on it, wind it around, let that, let that catch. Now once I have a place where I have a spot that I want to call zero, I'm going to zero it out. I have my machine in input and now I'm ready to record something onto it.